My name is Silvana. I'm a supervising attorney of the Preventing and Ending Homelessness team at Public Council, and right now I'm standing outside Twin Towers Correctional Facility, which is a jail in Los Angeles. And I'm about to go visit with my client who's facing homelessness um, because of an eviction uh, that is pending against him. And I'm going to try to help him um, save the mementos that are in his apartment from his life with his wife who died a few years ago. Um, they actually met while homeless and um, got this apartment together so it's very special for him um, and even though I might not be able to save his apartment I'm going to try to resolve the case in a way that uh, protects his rights as much as possible um, and protects his dignity. So I'm going to put the phone in my locker right now because you can't take cell phones inside the jail so I'm signing off. Hi everyone, it's Amy. I am here sitting in my car in Gardena. Um, uh, recently the city council in Gardena passed a moratorium on no-fault evictions for the remainder of the year until the new state law goes into effect. And um, it's a victory that's thanks to tenants here in Gardena and the LA Tenants Union and the fantastic organizing that they did. I'm here about to meet with a group of tenants um, in a building. We're actually going to be representing all of the tenants who are still living in the building who received no-fault eviction to fill out all of their paperwork and make sure that they can benefit from the new law. So um, that's going to be my evening here in Gardena. My name is Sarah Rogerson. I'm a staff attorney at Public Council. I'm here at Mount Tabor Church in South LA for their Thanksgiving celebration. We come to Mount Tabor twice a month to offer legal services to the community. Today we've seen a lot of people with tickets that they're looking to clear. Um, some of them tickets incurred by new owners of cars they no longer own, so these aren't even their tickets, um, but the tickets are holding them back from having a driver's license. Um, we're also seeing family law issues, tax issues, many things. It's been great to get to talk to so many people today. My name is Bernice Knopflin and I am the Outreach Coordinator here at Mount Tabor Community Outreach Partnership, which is located here at Mount Tabor Missionary Baptist Church. And every week, weekly, we provide um, essential and supportive services to people experiencing homelessness uh, in our community. And we partner with a lot of nonprofits, some of the city and county agencies. For example, um, you know, public council uh, who comes out uh, along with some of our other teams and provides legal assistance uh, to a lot of the folks that we serve. And I say that because it's really important that the, a lot of our participants get this assistance because sometimes it is there, it is as simple as a, a ticket or a, um, um, or something that didn't get cleared up on their record that keeps them from getting a job, keeps them from getting housed. My name is Javier. I'm Amber Wise. Uh, I'm here working with Lava Bay and we're here at Mount Tabor right now. We work uh, with Public Council and they help a lot of our guests um, as far as tickets and um, getting things taken care of that they normally wouldn't be able to get taken care of and it's really helpful for them. Hi, my name is Peggy. I work at Public Council. I'm a senior paralegal. Today we went to Social Security and worked very hard on our clients' cases. It was a harrowing day, but uh, fulfilling. Good morning everyone, it's Amy and I'm here at the Long Beach Courthouse. I'm just going in front of a judge this morning to enter a settlement on behalf of one of my eviction clients. We were able to negotiate a settlement that allows my client and her family to have some additional time to move out and it will ensure that she's able to be in her home with her, with her kids for the holidays. Um, so it should be a pretty straightforward morning, but still important. Hi everyone, so we're here at HPP Case Review and um, let's see, we've got um, our lovely team is going to pan around the room. And this is where we come together to discuss all of the cases and make sure that we're coordinating um, as all of our different projects within HPP. Hi, my name is Nisha Vias, and I'm the directing attorney of Public Council's Homelessness Prevention Law Project. Today, you met a few members of our team who are working on the front lines of addressing homelessness. You got a small window into what we do each day. With over 59,000 people living in uninhabitable conditions on the street, in their cars, in the county of Los Angeles, the fight to end homelessness is extremely urgent. 
as we enter into this Thanksgiving holiday, we at Public Council are so grateful for supporters like you who help it make it possible for us to ensure that more Angelinos can spend the holidays in their homes. I hope you enjoyed this opportunity to learn more about our work and that you'll consider joining our effort to end homelessness next week on Giving Tuesday. And please give justice.